All right, Sun Dragon Tips and Tricks. Welcome to our Ranunculus series that we're doing. This, I believe, is my fifth video. I filmed a bunch of these in one day and I'm gonna be editing them throughout the week. But this video is on the right lifted increase, RLI, that is in the Ranunculus instructions, specifically the one that happens right after you've done your ribbing for your collar. So she has some really great instructions for the right lifted increase in general in her pattern. And again, none of this is meant to replace the pattern. It is a supplement to a written pattern. However, the pictures and the instructions that she has for a right lifted increase are when you're doing your increase into, like you do it into the stitch below, what's on your left needle. Her instructions are if there's a knit stitch hanging out down there. Now, when it's a purl stitch, it's a little harder to follow her instructions. You have to figure out another way to do it. So this video is talking about that on one of the collars I made for our first video. Not to be confusing at all. So check this out and give it a shot when you get to this point. Let's get to it. Here are my double twist loop cast on and collar that I'm making for some of our other videos. I'm going to take a minute to show you the right lifted increase. So the way she has it done in the pattern, a right lifted increase would be as follows. You're going to grab the stitch underneath from back to front. She's got some really nice pictures for this and uh, of the stitch immediately below the, less, the next stitch on your left hand needle. Take it and place it on your left needle and insert your right hand needle and knit it. Now that works really great if you're doing a knit stitch like this one right here. Again, you pick it up from the back you stick it on your needle, and then you go ahead and knit it. However, on this row, you're doing it into the purl stitch, so let me follow her instructions. It's knit through the back loop, and then she wants you to do it on the purl stitch here. And that is really hard to grab that from behind, this loop that's right here. It's really hard to grab. It's this outside loop, but you don't want to catch the strand. It gets crazy. So here's what I recommend you do to help facilitate this is grab it from the front. See how I'm picking it up here? I'm coming from, from bottom to top to grab that purl bump. And then the thing is to knit it correctly. If you need to sit it on the left-hand needle to knit it correctly, the left-hand needle needs to come in from the front to grab it. And now you can knit it and then you knit the stitch that was on top. So let's try that again. We have to knit this one through the back loop. And now we need to do the right lifted increase on this purl stitch. So again, I grab the purl bump from bottom, go from bottom to top to pick it up. Then to put it correctly so you don't twist it, you need to scoop from the front with your left hand needle and now you can knit it and knit your next one. Knit your knit stitch through the back loop. Grab this guy, just pick up that purl bump. If you can knit him without putting him on this needle, picking up the purl bump, I would wrap my yarn around and scoop it back under and then knit my next stitch. But if that is at all confusing, the best way to do it to still use both needles, remember the knit stitch, we have to knit through the back loop on this row. I'm going to grab my purl bump, scoop under with my left hand needle from the front to get it on my needle, and then go ahead and knit it. Let's watch that a couple more times. Knit this one through the back loop, scoop under to grab it, Twist from the front to put it on the needle and go ahead and knit it. Knit the other one regularly. The knit stitch gets knit through the back loop. Scoop under and lift this purl bump 
bring your left needle forward to catch it and go ahead and knit it. As Liz likes to say, if all else fails, you don't have to do the lifted one. You can knit through the back loop. Bring your hand up from behind and twist to add on a stitch and just keep going. But if you want to do this increase as written, scoop the purl bump, come from the front to get it on your left hand needle and knit it. Once again, find that top purl bump, lift, scoop onto the left hand needle, knit. Keep doing that all the way around. All your knit stitches on this collar get knit through the back loop on this row. The increase happens and you knit one more stitch. Knit through the back loop. Increase. Knit. You're going to add one third the number of stitches. You go from 60 to 90. Thanks for joining us for the right lifted increase into a purl stitch, which is essentially what we did. And um, the other times in this pattern where we do a right lifted increase, it may not be into a purl stitch. We'll see when we get there. So this one was specifically addressing the step to get you from the ribbing of the collar onto the next piece of the ranunculus. Next week, I hope to be filming videos on German short rows, the short rows that are in this pattern. So if you're already there and the video is not out yet, if you can be patient, if not, just dive in and tackle it. Why not? If you watch this video and didn't watch the first one in the series about the different collars, you may want to go back and do that so you can help, it can help you decide how to start this pattern. All of these are meant to be helpful in case you can't get time with me about it because there's one of me and a lot of people who are doing the ranunculus right now because it's such an awesome pattern. Liz is making like four or five, I think, as we speak. Anyway, it's great because you, you pick a different fiber, you pick a different thickness, you, you decide to modify the sleeves differently. It's, it, it all comes out looking different and wonderful. So as always, may your crafting be filled with joy and confidence. We're going to be doing a lot of the ranunculus videos and maybe getting back to some of the basics y'all know and love. So please feel free to um, make suggestions and I will add it to my list and do it if I can. All right. Much love to everybody out there. We'll see you next time. Craft on.